Hello everyone. Welcome back to Nitya Cloud Tech. Hope all of you are doing good. This is the fourth video of Python automation series. In this video, we are going to discuss about how we can read data from Excel in Python using Pandas data frame. So in the previous video, we have discussed how we can read using a uh, open py excel and here uh, we are going to see how we can read using pandas so the agenda of this video is let me open the notepad file okay so agenda is first we will learn how we can uh, read data from excel using pandas data frame i can call it df and uh, how we can read data from a specific sheet and uh, how we can read a specific column or I can say specific cell and how we can read specific rows. Okay, so this is the high level agenda of this video, which we are going to discuss. Okay, so let me move into the sublime text. So as a part of this video, we are going to use sublime. Okay. So here first, what we need to do, we need to import the pandas library. So if you don't have panda library, so how you will install, let me tell you. So you have to open CMD and after open the CMD, I have this command. I will share with you guys. What you need to do? If you see here, this, this is the Python installation path. So you have to use this command, find Python path. I will share this. And uh, you have to copy and paste this command. And then you will click. And you are now in the Python. Now you can write pip install whatever the library like if you need to import panda you so you can write panda or any other library so you can basically install like this so i will put this command on the comment or description so you guys can uh, basically use the same and after that you can use pip install panda or any other if required uh, for your uh, you know uh, for your other examples but if I talk about this example, so we are going to only use this pandas library. Okay. Now let me move into the sublime. Uh, and uh, before starting this, let me show you the file. So we have this file store in which we have, this is the header. And in the first uh, seat, we have basically three seats store, store one and store two. So in the first seat, we have two rows and in the second seat if you see we don't have any rows in the starting and after that we have four rows first is the header and then in store two i don't have any rows in starting two lines and after that we have header and these are the rows so now let me show you how you guys can read this excel okay so now let me move back here so first you simply write import pandas as pd and after that you can let's it create one variable excel read or excel file whatever you want and now you can provide the path so path is this one so you need to put in the inverted comma and you need to use one more forward slash and now you need to provide the file name the file name is 
स्टोर डॉट एक्सएल एस एक्स स्टोर डॉट एक्सएल एस एक्स ओके सो हेयर वॉट वी डिड बी जस्ट इम्पोर्ट द लाइब्रेरी बेसिकली बी पोर्ट द कमांड एंड देन बी हैव क्रिएटेड वन वेरिएबल एंड असाइन द पाथ ऑफ द एक्सएल फाइल नाउ वॉट वी विल डू विल क्रिएट df for this and uh, df is the another variable so if we are using panda so it will automatically create data frame now what we need to do we can say pd basically pd is this one dot read excel so for reading excel this is the syntax pd dot read excel and i am reading from this path and this path is stored in the excel file variable okay now i need to put comma so as i mentioned i have different sheets so now store store one store two so basically i can call this 0 1 and 2 so here i can specify like sheet name equals to 0 okay now i can print this control b using control b we can print in sublime so now you guys can see we have this data see in the store we have this segment and then we have two rows so first is the header and then two rows okay so two rows and seven columns now if you see here uh, like we have total 3 Was first is header and two is values. So just we have written df and we are able to see all the values of sheet one. Now let's say if I need to see store one. So what I need to do? I simply need to change the sheet name here. Sheet name one. And then if I do control v, so you guys can so see here. so if you see here in the c2 we don't have anything in the initial three rows so that's the reason it's showing like this and then we have segment country and then other values segment country is the header and other values then okay so similarly if you want to see the third row so you don't need to do anything you can just write c2 and control b so let me open the sheet b as well sheet 3 as well so see now there are nothing in the first and second row so you guys can see like this and then after that you have these all rows so you can see all these rows like this okay so it is very simple similarly you may have multiple sheets and uh, you can as per the requirement you can select so this is very important for automation purpose so generally in data warehousing you get a set of files uh, from where you need to select a specific file or a specific data so using python you can easily do okay so similarly you, you just need to provide the path and after that you can you know use here sheet name okay i can do everything in first line itself i have bracket it so let me show you how i can do this in first line first line itself so let me comment this so we can comment like this and uh, what i can do here i can write here itself pd dot read excel and then this is the path and i need sheet name sheet name equals to 2 okay and uh, now i can either print this here let's say i am providing first sheet only and on commenting this one as well control v so see guys we can 
see here itself. Either I also don't need to use print here, I can write here itself. Print. Okay, but I write it so that you will able to uh, understand properly, it will be more visual. So that's the reason I bracket down. So let me do again, same. Now in the Excel file, we have path and uh, now we are basically uh, creating data frame using PD here and we are basically passing the variable and we are passing the seat name here and after that we are printing this df here so i hope it would be clear so far you can just uh, change the seat name as per the requirement now let's say if you need to see a specific column so how you guys can see let me show you so what you need to do let me comment this we are not printing so we are we can write df dot column dot values and let's say zero as simple as and i can print this Control V. So see, I got segment. This is the, this is my first column. So like this, you can see column as well. Let's say you want to see three column. So you can just write zero to three and you can do. See, so we are able to see three columns. So basically it starts from 0, 0, 1, 2. And similarly, if you want to see more columns, so you just need to put like this here and you can, so see, like this you can select as for, or you, for only seeing, for only one column, you can just select the index number so manufacturing price so if you see 0 1 2 3 4 and fifth on fifth number you have manufacturing price so like this you can see okay so i hope this is understandable okay so if you want to see row so what you need to do you can just write df dot location and let's say you want to see one and then you can print this so he you will get this first row so let me show you segment country product if you see here segment country product and then see government germany and this one 13 21 3 20 13 21 3 20 so basically it starts from zero so that's why you have written one that's why it has shown this one if you want to see this row like 16 18 none canada so so you can simply write zero here see now you can see this one 16 18 3 20 16 80 3 20 now let's say if you want to see all the all specific range of rows so what you can do you can just write type 0 to 2 see now you are able to see all the rows okay so let's say similarly if i talk about here if you want to see rows here then how you will write you can simply change the seat name here 
and let's say you want to see zero say five zero to five so see if you see here in the first three rows since we don't have anything so it says like this and after that it shows the segment enterprise small business and government this these rows okay or uh, you can basically let's say you want to see more rows so 0 to 7 so you will get others as well so like this you can do but if let's say you don't want to see this uh you know like nan nan values uh which don't have any value so what you can do you can define the header here so in the data frame uh, itself is this variable itself while uh, reading the excel you can put header let's say equals to three now let me execute this so see this is our header zero one two three so it has shown, shown you this header as well and after that we want to see the rows after that it has shown the rows so simply we can define the header as well here and let's say now if i move on c2 to show you the data so c2 we don't have anything here in 0 1 so if you know if i'm defining header from 3 then it will show the header of this line enterprise canada so let me show you see so this is the header because we are choosing from third line so what we need to do we just need to do two here instead of three so that it will show the correct header okay so if you just up this so you can see so like this you can read the excel and you can read the different sheets and uh, you can basically define the header and uh, you can choose or see the specific uh, cell uh, and or column or you can see the specific row so i think this video would be helpful thank you everyone